Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve IAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel, uh, we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose, we have uh, started multiple series, of, series on our channel that target your prelims as well as mains. So friends, uh, uh, in this video, we will be talking about our daily current affair MCQ series. Uh, in which what we do we daily discuss your uh, MCQs uh, uh, that are based upon the current affairs of the day so today is 8 October so let's see what are the questions for today so the first question is consider the following statements related to public finance management system first it is an end-to-end -end solution for processing payments uh, track uh, tracking monitoring accounting reconciliation and reporting second it is administered by Reserve Bank of India so we have to choose that which of the above statements is Correct. So let me tell you friends that only one statement is correct and that is first. So it is, an, it is a basically end-to-end -end solution for uh, your pro, uh, processing of the payments, tracking, monitoring, accounting, reconciliation and reporting. So the answer is A, that is one only. So under pressure from the center, the Punjab Food and Civil Supplies Department has directed all government procurement agencies to link bank accounts of farmers with the public finance management system. Uh, so this has uh, angered the RTRs. Uh, a large number of whom want the government to roll back its decision. So what is public finance management system? So it is an end-to-end -end solution for processing payments, tracking, monitoring, accounting, reconciliation and reporting. So it is administered by Department of Expenditure and it is implemented by Controller General of Accounts. So function is to uh, provide scheme managers a unified platform for tracking releases and monitoring their last mile utilization and uh, provides pl uh, platform for efficient management of funds through tracking of funds and real time reporting of expenditure and receipts through treasury and bank interface so it is also used for dbt payments under manrega and other notified schemes of government of india so significance is that it has resulted in effectiveness and economy in public finance management through better cash management for government transparency in public expenditure and real time information on resource availability and utilization across schemes so it has also uh, resulted in improved program administration and management reduction of load in the system and uh, uh, direct payment to beneficiaries and greater transparency and accountability in the use of public funds now let's move on to the second question second is consider the following statements related to information fusion center for uh, indian ocean region first uh, this uh, the ifc has been established at uh, navy's information management and analysis center in kochi so second is its vision is to strengthen maritime security in indian ocean region and beyond so we have to choose that which of these statements is correct uh, correct let me tell you friends that the uh, only statement that is correct is second so the answer would be b so basically this information fusion center it was set up last year uh, it has started functioning as an information sharing hub of maritime data so basically as is clear from information fusion center so various uh, maritime da data that is collected uh, so it will be uh, we can say uh, accumulated here so uh, it will act as an information sharing hub and then queuing incident responses to maritime security situations through a collaborative approach so the center is actively interacting with the maritime community and has already built linkages with 18 countries and 15 uh, multinational maritime security centers so uh, this uh, it was it's established with a vision of strengthening maritime security in the region and beyond so by building a common current maritime situation picture and acting as a maritime information hub for the region so it has been established at Navy's Information Management and Analysis Center in Guru Gram. So through this center, information on white shipping or commercial shipping will be exchanged with countries in the region. So significance and the need is that uh, uh, Indian Ocean region has a diverse set of littorals and island nations, each with its unique needs, aspirations, interests and values. So it is necessary to counter the rise in maritime piracy in the region. So this uh, would also ensure that uh, entire region is benefited by mutual collaboration and exchange of information and understanding the concerns and threats which are prevalent in the region so more details that why indian ocean region is important you can read it uh, by pausing the video now let's move on to the second uh, third question the third question is the archaeological site and a source seen in news belongs to which country a israel b saudi arabia c iran b Kuwait. so friends answer is israel so basically Israeli archaeologists on Sunday unveiled the remains of a 5000 year old city this said was among the biggest from its era in the region including fortifications, a ritual temple and a cemetery. Now let's move on to the second, uh, fourth question. The fourth question is the annual study of state level budget is released by A. Niti Aayog, B. National Statistical Office, 
See, Reserve Bank of India, D, none of the above. Let me tell you, friends, that the answer is Reserve Bank of India. So, this uh, this has been asked question because uh, there was a news relating to it uh, in Indian Express. So, annual study of state level budgets, uh, it has uh, found that uh, uh, states have regularly met their fiscal deficit of 3% of GDP. Um, but uh, then uh, there is an issue, then uh, it, the, it is said that concern is that basically this fiscal deficit has been met um, by reducing the capital expenditure. Uh, because revenues are not increasing so uh, then uh, this uh, obviously reducing the expenditure and increasing borrowing from the market this is a, a, worry, a worrying concern because it will uh, increase the future expenditure and uh, then there is also a reduction in the overall size of the state budget in 2017-19 state budgets so uh, this has been uh, uh, the findings have been quite large so you can read about them by pausing the video so it is basically it points to how the state governments are, fan are managing their uh, uh, budget and how this is related to the overall economic picture of uh, India and uh, obviously because if uh, uh, states are contributing to the GDP and if their budget uh, budgets are shrinking then certainly the, uh, the big picture will be that uh, the they will these uh, budget contractions will deepen the economic crisis that currently the economy is facing so more details you can uh, read by pausing the video now next, uh, let's move to the next question next is geotail seen in news is related to a space region b rocket parts c earth balls d none of the above so friends answer is a so this is also based upon news uh, based upon a news that is uh, that was there in indian express so chandrayaan 2 uh, class uh, uh, that is an instrument on chandrayaan 2 class designed to detect signatures of elements in the moon's soil had detected charged particles during the mission so this happened in september during the orbiter's passage through the geotail so basically geotail is a region in space that allows the best observation so the region exists as a result of interactions between sun and earth so it is found because sun emits solar wind which is continuous stream of charged particles so these particles are embedded in the extended magnetic field of the sun since the earth has a magnetic field it obstructs the sol uh, obstructs the solar wind plasma so this interaction results in the formation of magnetic envelope around earth so on the earth side facing the sun the envelope is compressed into a region that is approximately 3 to 4 times the uh, 4 times the earth radius and on the opposite side it is stretched into a long tail uh, which extends beyond the orbit of the moon so it is this tail that is called geotail so once every 29 days the moon traverses the geotail for about 6 days now let's move on to the next question next is which of the following is our india's permanent research station in antarctica first maitri second himadri third bharti uh, uh, d uh, in in ind arc so we have to choose that which of these statement above uh, which of the above is uh, uh, india's permanent research station in antarctica so friends the answer is uh, uh, one and three that is maitri and bharti so solution is c so Dakshin Gangotri was the uh, first Indian scientific research base station established in Antarctica as a part of Indian Antarctic program located at a distance of 2500 kilometers from the South Pole. So it was established during third uh, Indian expedition to Antarctica in 1983-84. So this was the first time an Indian uh, team spent a winter in Antarctica to carry out scientific work. And then there is Maitri, it is second permanent research station in the Antarctica. So it was built and finished in 1989. So Maitri is situated on a rocky mountainous region. Uh, called Screamature Oasis and India has also built a freshwater lake around Maitri known as Lake Priya Darshini. So please note it, it is very important. Then Bharti is there. Bharti is India's latest research uh, station operating, operating since uh, 2018 not 18 sorry 12 so it has been constructed to help researchers work in the safety despite uh, the harsh weather so india's first committed research facility uh, and is located uh, about 300 uh, 3 3000 kilometer east of maitri so bharti made india an elite member of the club of nine nations that have multiple stations in the region so please note that so now we uh, uh, have dakshin gangotri maitri and bharti so uh, dakshin gangotri was the oldest of them so obviously an option on only one and three is there so please note that around Maitri there is a, a Priyadarshini lake freshwater lake then there is mosaic seen in news is related to a arctic expedition b tobacco disease c weather observation satellite d none of the above 
so let me tell you friends that the answer is c that is uh, basically uh, solution is a it is arctic expedition uh, so uh, answer is uh, a arctic arctic expedition so india's vishnu nandan will be only indian abroad uh, aboard the multidisciplinary drifting observatory for the study of arctic climate expedition so he will be aboard uh, please note the uh, name vishnu nandan so he will, will be the only indian aboard multidisciplinary drifting observatory for the study of arctic climate expedition so he will be aboard the german research vessel uh, polarstern and anchored on a large sheet of uh, sea ice in central arctic drifting along with it uh, during the uh, this uh, pitch black polar winter so about mosaic is that this is uh, uh, spear it is spear headed by alfred wagner institute in germany so it is the largest ever arctic expedition in history to basically conduct a study of this scale at the north pole for an entire year so it is first such study so aim is to basically uh, to parameterize the atmospheric geophysical and oceanographic and all other possible variables in arctic and use it to more accurate, accurately forecast the changes in our weather system so more details are here you can pause the video and can read about them and next is which of the <clears throat> following uh, memorandum of understandings were signed between india and bangladesh recently first port access the second river water sharing third line of credit fourth illegal immigrant relocation so we have to choose that which of the above statements is correct let me tell you friends that uh, one two three are correct so port access river water sharing is there then line of credit is there so the various uh, memorandum of understandings have been signed so you can uh, uh, the here is a table included you can pause the video and can check in detail so if you find it useful now let's move on to the next question next is consider the following statements related to ram leela first it particularly refers to the thousands of uh, thousands of hindu god ram related dramatic plays and dance events that are staged during the festival of navratri second the ram leela festivi festivities were declared by unesco as one of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity in 2008 so we have to choose that which of these statements uh, is correct let me tell you friends that both of these statements are correct so uh, if, uh, mostly north india might be aware of this um, it is also possible that uh, south indians may be also aware of it but i don't know what they call uh, uh, because i am from north india so uh, ram leela festivity is basically uh, it has been declared uh, by unesco as intangible cultural heritage of humanity so basically it is a narration of uh, uh, entire uh, legend of uh, that is ramayana uh, then uh, <clears throat> it is basically uh, then uh, at the end of that uh, after uh, after navratri at the uh, tenth day the shara is celebrated vijayadashmi so night festive uh, uh, night festivities are they it basically uh, it cli its climax uh, climax is dushara so gyan models of evil such as da of demon ravana are burnt typically with fireworks now let's move on to the last question of the day last question of the day is national e assessment center seen in news is related to a income tax assessment b environment clearance c climate change assessment d none of the above so we have to choose that which of the above statements is correct let me tell you friends that the answer is a that is income uh, tax assessment so national e assessment center is basically uh, finance minister has inaugurated recently it uh, uh, this uh, is basically in line with prime minister's vision of digital india so it aims to fa uh, produce face to face interaction between the taxpayers and tax officials and it will improve the taxpayer service so national uh, this national e assessment center uh, will also reduce the grievances of taxpayers so uh, basically aim is to promote ease of doing business and uh, will be an uh, it will be an of uh, 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 it will have an independent office looking after the exclusive work of e assessment so functions are uh, greater uh, to ensure greater efficiency transparency and accountability in the tax assessment and it basically it aims to end the physical interface between the taxpayers and the tax officers and will uh, taxpayers will receive notices on their registered emails and on the registered accounts on the web portal so real time alerts will also be there through sms uh, and uh, it will also specify the issues uh, for which their cases have uh, been selected for scrutiny so basically for uh, if uh, for example mostly the assessment will be done so uh, the the issue uh, the basically issues that have been uh, selected for scrutiny uh, the specification of the basically uh, uh, also provide uh, specification of the courses will also be provided there so friends this is all about our today's discussion of daily mcqs 
so if you like this discussion then do ensure that you like this video and share it with your friends and also friends lastly we also have a telegram channel that public telegram channel that uh, the link of which is shown on your screen and will also be provided in the description box so more than 13,000 subscribers are associated with us on this telegram channel so you are more than welcome to join this public telegram channel if you want to remain in touch with various initiatives that are run by us for the purpose of CSC preparation and uh, lastly friends if you have any doubts if you have any queries you can mail us at gyas21 at the rate gmail.com or you can also contact us at our contact number that is 8968920720 and friends lastly if you want to subscribe to the pdf so these uh, mcqs then do ensure that you check the description box the subscription link uh, is there so obviously it, uh, there is a minimum fee that has been kept for the purpose of these pdfs that is rupees 99 per month and that has been solely kept for the purpose of our motivation so that GUI people can remain motivated to help you people so in case you are interested you are more than welcome to check the description box and can join using the subscription link uh, given there and if you have any doubt and queries you are more than welcome to contact us on given contact details so this is all about today's video do ensure that you like it share it with your friends and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel so thank you friends have a very nice day ahead